When you win a war, any previous territorial losses are often swiftly returned to you. Yet, whilst Prussia had been on the winning side of the Napoleonic Wars, when France had been defeated and occupied, Prussia's previous loss of this territory in 1807 was never rectified. And in fact, it was handed over to Russia. Which raises the question, why? Why did Prussia lose this land even after it was victorious? So, to begin, during Napoleon's adventures across Europe, numerous coalitions formed to oppose him. One of these coalitions was the Fourth Coalition, which was comprised of these nations trying to prevent France from creating a new European order. The coalition didn't fare too well, and shortly after Napoleon had occupied Berlin, the Prussians sued for peace. In the peace treaty, it was dictated that Prussia would lose all of these lands, with this large chunk here becoming the Duchy of Warsaw, the first independent Polish state since Prussia, Russia and Austria carved up Poland-Lithuania at the end of the previous century. Seven years later, Napoleon was defeated. Then again a year later and France was occupied and in no position to dictate its own borders, let alone those of Prussia. So why was it then that after the dust had settled, a chunk of Russia's Polish territories were a part of the Russian Empire and had not been returned? Whilst Prussia did lose a lot of its Polish territory, it did keep most of what it had gained in the first two partitions. However, there were two main reasons that this land was lost to Prussia forever. The first reason was the most obvious, Sweden. You see, after Prussia's losses in 1807, its place in the coalition was diminished, and thus it didn't command the same level of respect that it once had. Both Prussia and Sweden had eyes on territory in the German-speaking parts of Europe, and if Prussia spent too much political goodwill trying to regain Poland, then that would leave Sweden with a greater foothold in the area. The second reason was that Russia was occupying the lands. When pushing Napoleon back to Paris, the Russians had conquered the Duchy of Warsaw, and had placed it under military administration. Prussia wasn't exactly excited at the prospect of fighting another major war that it would likely lose, and so there really wasn't much that they could do. That's not to say that the Russians weren't going to compensate Prussia for the loss. Emperor Alexander I knew that Prussia had a claim to the land, and so, in return for handing Warsaw and the Polish heartlands over to Russia, it would support Prussia's expansion westward which worked well for both sides. For Prussia, it meant that it would lose a great chunk of its Catholic Polish-speaking population and could replace them with the richer German-speaking Protestant populations to its west. It would also increase Prussia's influence in the new German Confederation at the expense of Austria, which was a fun bonus for them. And for Russia, gaining Poland was important because Alexander believed that some of Napoleon's liberal ideals were here to stay. And so it was better to paint himself as Poland's liberator and protector than to risk Prussia getting it wrong and Poland breaking free. This wouldn't last for long because after Poland revolted in 1831, its status as an independent state was abolished and it was formally incorporated into the Russian Empire as a territory. And with that, Prussia lost control of Poland and its successor state Germany would only briefly regain it during the First World War. I hope you enjoyed this episode and a special thanks to my patrons, James Bizonette, Kelly Moneymaker, Sky Chappelle, Corsho Wolf, Jerry Lambden, Jordan Longley, Adam Stalter, Marcus Arsner, Wyan Hockey, Spencer Lightfoot, Rod D. Martin, Words About Books Podcast, Captain Sidog, Gustav Swan, Marvin Cassow, Camus Yoon, Winston Kaywood, Boogily Woogily, Daniel Tobian, Miss Izzet, Aaron the White, Corey Turner, The McWhopper, Alex Schwinn, Anthony Beckett, Copper Tone, Maggie Patskowski, Shuenin, Spinning Three Plates, and Charles the First.